What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. It's weekly reset time, so let's go over what is new for this week, as well as the gear that is available. Now, real quick, I do want to apologize to each and every one of you guys because I was supposed to do this video earlier, but I didn't get a chance to because I was spending time with my twins, but I'm bringing it to you guys now. Let's go over the milestones for this week. We have Titan challenges, which you need to complete three challenges while exploring Titan. Then we have today's gift, which you need to complete a Dawning's gift and deliver it to its lucky recipient. Then we have the Nightfall. This week's Nightfall is the Arms Dealer. Modifiers for this week are Torrent, which boundless power erupts from within. Your abilities charge much faster. And then we also have Time Warp Zero Hour, which the mission timer cannot be extended. Choose your battles carefully. Next, we have Leviathan, which you need to complete the Leviathan Raid or the Eater of Worlds Raid Lair. Then we have Call to Arms, pretty much win Crucible matches. Then we have Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, the Crucible, or World Activities. Flashpoint is on Titan, which you need to complete Public Events on Titan. If you do the Heroic versions, you can complete that a lot faster. Then we have Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three of them. And then we also have Welcome to the Dawning, from which we need to speak to Tess Everest and claim our free Dawning Engram. As you can see, it is very festive at the tower, and it actually looks pretty nice. I would have died to check. It's snowing! Yay! So, when it comes to Tess Eververse, I am only going to be going over what she is selling for this week. I will cover everything she has for the dawning event in a separate video. So we are going to come here and claim this wonderful Dawning Engram. And it gave me a wonderful uh, speeder. Or sparrow, however you want to call it. So, as for the emails for this week, we have Good Idea. Shuffle Dance. As for the Sparrow, we have Marble Orb Weaver. Looks pretty cool. Then for the ship, we have Mainsail Royal. Just another wonderful reskin. As for the exotic ornaments, we have the Jade Countenance for the Fighting Lion. Next, we have the Summer Storm for the Risk Runner. And then we have Gothic Horror for the Karnstein Armlets. For the Ghost, for the week, we have Orchid Shell. That actually looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Then we have your Vex Arrival Transmat Effect. For Shaders, we have the Midnight Talons. As well as the Noble Constant Red. Then we have your Fire Team Medallion, as well as your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, as well as the Gleaming Boon of the Crucible. As I said before, I will be covering all of the Dawning gear in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. So, we actually have a couple of lanterns scattered across the tower. So you might have to bring the lantern somewhere, or just pick it up and just let it go somewhere. Like in the air. Or, you can actually pick up a snowball. And... Chuck it at that dude. <laughs> that was awesome. And then we also get a wonderful uh, buff called Frostbite. And if you actually hit another player with it, you get another buff called Chill to the Bone. If you go into the hangar, you will be able to play hockey, apparently. In this cool little hockey ring, you'll get a buff called Skating on Thin Ice. And you actually slide a lot. <laughs> Don't forget to go visit Cade 6 in order to get the wonderful treasure maps from him. 
And the treasure maps are all for Titan. And once again, I am Glimmer Broke. And that fellow guardian brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time. I think I'm going to go play some hockey or throw a snowball at somebody.